frustrating to drop a couple points again, especially at home? Extremely. Uh, yes, there is, and um, you know it's just unfortunate. I don't think we're the same team that we were last year. So um, I don't like. I don't want to make that comparison, um, but it, we were definitely in similar situations last year, and uh, it was got a similar result. So um, you know, something this year's team is going to have to get over. Yeah, I was. A, there's there's a lot of breakdowns on that play. Um, you know, in the end, we don't defend Avaya very well. Um, but there was there was a lot going on in that play that we could have done to prevent ever getting put in that situation. And um, you know, there were things even when we had the ball. I mean, we had a great attack going. You know, a couple of seconds before that. So a um, lot lot of lot of situations that we have to correct this week in training. Yeah, and one thing we, you know, I, I thought all day long we weren't very selfish. I thought we could have uh, taken guys 1v1 um, in many chances today. And uh, for whatever reason, it wasn't our midfielders specifically. I mean, I, th I think it was a lot of players, just a reluctancy to go 1v1 versus some guys. And that, that hurt us a little bit. You know, we passed the ball an awful lot, but we passed it when we should have been taking a guy off a dribble, um, getting a cross off or really getting shots off. Um, we have to have a little more variety of our attack that way. Does this sort of result make you rethink making three offensive substitutions? Um, no, not at all. Are there, are there any concerns about uh, getting the right mix late in games when a substitution or otherwise be a little more possession oriented? No, I, I'm. I get the feeling from you guys over there, but I'm just going to disagree because I don't think that end result was because of the substitutions. All right, I think it was because we didn't do a lot of things in that second half. That you're up a goal, you're at home, you're out playing an opponent, then you go up a man. There are so many little details in that second half. The fact that we don't score a second goal when we clearly had tons of chances to do so, um, our willingness not to take those opportunities, there's a lot in there. Um, my, my opinion is the, the, that it wasn't the substitutions that were the problem. John, do you think by the, the frustration when you look down at the stat sheet and you see one shot on target for Montreal? Yeah, it just, just adds to it, you know. You, you, you prepare for it all week, you know that that's the danger, and look, you got to give a lot of credit to DeVaio. He's a brilliant goal scorer. He's proven it in this league that he's one of the best. He's done it, um, you know, in international soccer as well. Um, we knew it was coming at some point, and we had to do a better job than we did. I think it's responsibility. I think players got to take responsibility for when they have, when they have it, they have to go for it. And that there were clearly a lot of situations that guys could have taken shots. They could have gone one v one, you know. And we just didn't do that. Um, and you want that balance. Today we didn't find a very good balance. Thank you.